Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and I realize it's a little awkward that we're joining an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links in the middle of a duel, but I've been working at this a little off-screen in the wee hours of the night. It's about 12.30 in the morning, because sleep is for suckers, and we are about to accomplish our final synchro summon that we need to finish off the missions for unlocking Gong Strong. I decided to primarily do them off camera because uh, uh, trying to actually do a gong is kind of scary. The super heavy samurais, they are not friendly. They're really cool conceptually and I like them a lot, but they are absolutely terrifying if you give them any kind of leeway. Also, I discovered that Yuya has a line for Wall of Disruption when you activate it, and I am all about that. But yes, doing this Synchro Summon here, that should, 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 being the key word, have completed our unlock requirements for... Oh, stop doing things. Stop doing things while I'm talking. We're just, we're just gonna hammer through this. Because I don't think he's got much else to really do to us right now. Yeah. We're dueling ourselves, by the way. How appropriate. It's like conquering your inner demons or something like that. But yeah. Awkwardly starting off the episode in the middle of the duel. Because I wanted to show that I have completed the unlock requirements for the next character. One Mr. Gong Strong. Uh... And yeah, it's very late, so my lighting is pretty crappy, and I have to try and talk a little quiet so I don't wake up other people in the house. Uh, uh, our home is not exactly soundproof, so... <laughs> yeah. But with that, we have performed three Synchro Summons, and... We have completed all of the character unlock missions, which means we get to enjoy the lovely tones of Gong Strong. You don't just face an opponent in a duel, you know, it's a real battle is against yourself. When everything is in chaos, your soul has to remain calm and immovable. That's the Heavy Strong style. However, duels evolve every day, there's always a new strategy to face. Heavy strong style is the traditional style, but Gong can't let t be le get left behind with the times. That's what Gong learned by coming here. Gong's gotta move his heavy strong style to the next level while keeping his heart the same. This monster's the core of Gong's heavy strong style. Super heavy samurai, Big Ben K. And what do you know it? That's a signature monster. They did discover off camera. Nice. Very nice indeed. To every duelist in this world, Gong's not going anywhere. If you think you can push Gong down, give it your best shot. Gong Strong Unlocked, which means we get to play around with the terror that is super heavy samurai cards. Heavy Strong style. And of course, Big K is not included in this default deck, because... That would be fun. Anyway. We unlocked Gong Strong. Gonna take a break from playing as Yuya for right now. Because we have a new character to play around with. And before we get into any kind of deck construction, we've got a few gems to play around with up here. So let's see what we can get out of a couple packs. There are still a few Super Heavy Samurai cards to locate in here, I think. I think? Maybe not. I know you can get some. Are there no Ultra Rares or anything like that? I guess not. Uh... Okay. New plan. Let's go to the Dual Studio and figure out where the majority of Super Heavy Samurai cards are. 
because they've been in the game for a while. Uh, wrong thing. Card catalog. They've been in the game for a while, and I do have several of them. Maybe. Oh, come on. Super Hades. Peace. Okay, so. We've got some synchro monsters. Uh, ultra rare. I did get one of you. Let's sort you by rarity. Other way around. Oh, we do have a big Ben K. Where? Dang it. <laughs> it would be nice if I clicked the right thing. Second verse, same as the first. Super heavy. We have a big Ben K. When did I get you? What were you in? You are in Pendulum Genesis. Okay, apparently I got this at some point. I don't remember getting it, but whatever. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? I obtained. You are in Future Horizon, and you're in the Super Mini Box. Well, that's helpful. Let's see. Next. Soul Claw. You're a dual reward, okay. Horseman, dual reward, okay. So, a good few of these. This is a big one right here. Because this is just a free special summon from the deck. And... I really gotta figure out where you are. You are in Future Horizon in the in the Super Mini Box. Gotcha. Problem with the Super Head Mini Box is that you can only get so many of those. And again, Future Horizon Super Mini. Alright. Bluedist. Same deal. And let me guess, yeah, okay. So Super Heavy Samurais, we want that mini box and we want um, Future Horizons. So I guess I will get one of these. We can only get two more, I think. Yeah, purchase limit two without starting to spend real money on this. Let's see what we get from this. This does give us several uh, common cards and stuff, too, to sort of fill out our collection, so... Gong Strong says... What we got? Lydia, Super Heavy Samurai Drum, okay. Another one of these guys. We have several of them already. Look. Trumpeter, we did not have Trumpeter. He is a tuner, and I... I think he's a fairly good tuner, too. Yeah, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, yeah. So you're a really good one. A lot of text on that card. And I don't know what this thing is, but we got it. Aether the Evil Empowering Dragon. Once per turn you can banish one empowered warrior monster from your graveyard, so you are Ike type related. Alright, one card to destroy it. This card is normal or special summon, you can target one of the cards around the field, banish it. Okay. That's not bad. Not what we really wanted, but you did get one new Super Heavy Samurai. So... Logic Dictates would be to save up some gems and get another one of those. So I think I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna actually play this a little smart. A little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. But definitely after... Jeez. Ah, oh, these starter decks just keep getting worse. I mean, yeah, Super Heavy Samurais, you don't actually want any spell and trap support because they that's how they play, but... Alright, let's dump this. I do actually run a Super Heavy Samurai deck, uh, IRL. Super Heavy... Sort those out. Um... But it's been a while since I used them, so I'm not gonna really know what I'm doing right away. I had one super heavy, heavy samurai, I think I paid for your deck. Can you use once per duel if you control two or more monsters in defense position and their total amount of defense is 3500 above? 
Add one super heavy Samurai Big Bang K from your graveyard to your hand. Then, if you do not control a monster whose original defense is 3500 or more, return one card from your hand to your deck. So, if I have the right monsters, I can add them to my deck, but then if I don't have the right monsters, I have to send things back. Okay, I guess. Uh, what's cool about Super Heavy Samurais, too, is that they are a synchro deck, which is always fun. Um, I guess that makes sense why one of the requirements to unlock him was uh, doing synchro summons. Uh, let's see. First of all, we're just gonna plop some guys here into the extra deck. Like I said, it's been a while since I actually played my Super Heavy Samurais. Uh, since we're going to be using Synchro Monsters, let's filter this out and see who our tuners are. Real quick. Um... Hey, you're not bad. Definitely want more of you. Because you are just a special summon, and then... Yeah. What are you about? During your battle phase, if your super heavy samurai monster destroyed an opponent's monster by battle, this battle phase, you can immediately after this effect resolve synchro summon one synchro monster using materials you control, including this card. If you have a spell shot to your new graveyard, you can target one super heavy samurai synchro monster you control, reduce its level by one, and if you do, special summon this card from your graveyard. Also, you can outspell for someone there's turn. Yeah, okay. Um, that's not bad, actually. I like you better, but the fact that you can return from the graveyard is actually pretty cool. Um, you know what? We're experimenting right now. Let's just do one of each. Um, the super heavy samurais themselves, they tend to perform pretty well on their own, so you don't necessarily need the synchro monsters to begin with. So, this is all just kind of trial and error right now. Um, let's see. Super Heavy Samurais, if you're not totally familiar with how the archetype works, actually, we'll just... Um, you know? Okay. We'll, we'll figure out the rest of the tuners and stuff in a little bit. Super Heavy Samurai, if you're not familiar with how the um, archetype works, basically... Okay, first of all, you. Three of you, please. They come in two different categories. You have the Super Heavy Samurai themselves, and then you have equipment cards, which act as union monsters, even though they're not technically union monsters. Um, yeah, I don't think any of them actually count as union cards. <laughs> but basically, these guys are here in place of spell and trap cards. And the deck functions best when you don't have any spell and trap cards in your deck. Which is why I was kind of drawn to it so much. Okay, so yeah, these two work together, which is not bad, and it, this guy here is really useful, like really, really useful for synchro summons, so let's do this, and then with the idea that we're going to be summoning these two a lot using these guys in combination with this guy. Having three of him would be a really good idea, but we only have the one for right now. Um, yeah. And uh, let's see what else we have to work with here. 
uh, Soul Bang Cannon. Gains 1,000 defense during either player's battle phase when your opponent activates a card while they control a defense position super heavy samurai monster. Banish this card from your graveyard, negate the activation, destroy it, then destroy as many monsters on the field as possible. And if you do, each both players take 500 damage. That is... Both good and bad. Um, we'll come back to Soul Bang Cannon. Uh, Soul Shield Wall gains 1,200 defense. Nice boost. When the monster equipped by this card, uh, card is targeted for its attack, you can send this equipped card to the graveyard. Negate that the attack, but the equipped monster's defense is zero. See, that's not very good. That's not very good. The one thing you don't want to do with your Super Heavy Samurai cards is reduce their defense points, because that is what they're all about. You negate an attack, but at what cost? Um... Soul Beads. Target one, put it over your hand. Each time, the first time the monster equipped this card, effect would be destroyed by card effect. It is not destroyed. Defense decision monster is destroyed by battle. Send to the graveyard. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon into that monster in attack position. Better. Still not fantastic. Soul Horns. You can make a second attack during the battle phase, the equipped monster. All the cards equipped by this monster by this effect. You can special summon this card. You can only use this effect to super heavy samurai soul horns once per turn. Um, okay. So... That we're gonna pop in two, I think. We only have two. And I did notice that there's a couple more Super Heavy Samurais in his level up list, of course. Um, we definitely need other monsters to make this deck work. You need monsters, so let's see what, who we have here. Uh, prep Defense cannot be normal or flip summoned if you have any spell trap cards in your graveyard. Okay. Take battle damage. You have nothing in this card is in your hand. You can special summon this card. If you do, it cannot be destroyed by card effect. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's do two of you. Super Every Samurai Kabuto. Also, sorry I'm just doing a bunch of deck building on camera again. I, I don't know if this is interesting or not. Um... If your opponent special summons a monster, you can chase as many attack positions super heavy samurai monsters to control the possible the defense position. Okay. You must change by this card the card effect gains 500 attack until the end of the turn. Alright. That's not bad. I'm gonna take one of those out. Just cause. Just cause. So my wildly erratic thought process. Uh, two of you. And our other sort of regular monster that we have in play right now is Samurai Giga Gloves. <sighs> if this card is sent to the graveyard and you have no spell trap cards in your graveyard, you can look at the top five cards in the deck and then place them on top of the deck in any order. Alright. If opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard, excavate the top card of your deck, and if it's a super heavy samurai monster, you can add it to your hand. If you do, the attacking monster's attack becomes zero. Otherwise, into the graveyard. Well, considering we're putting him in a super heavy samurai deck... Oh, we only have one of them. That's a shame. We're definitely gonna need more gig gloves. Let me guess, you are in Future Horizon and Pendulum Genesis, yeah. Okay. So, we're definitely going to be raiding Future Horizon for a little while, I think, after we uh, work our way through that other, that other, uh, super mini, whatever. Okay, so, we got, Sorry, my brain is working. 
Or it might not be, I don't know. I can't tell the difference most days. Let's take a look at these guys again. These are these are our spell and trap card support, so we definitely need them in the deck. Okay, you're not great. You're hilarious, so we're gonna put you in. And you do give a very big defensive boost. So we're going to do you. And then... One more of you. That's definitely a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. That is for dang sure. Um, actually... See, I'm second-guessing myself all over the place. Put one more tuner back in. And as far as the t monsters we have here, we're gonna do one more Musashi, I think. Getting out QB here. He... Getting him out is going to be a little trickier, so I think we're going to work with what we have here for right now. Uh, I believe all the Synchro Monsters have the ability to attack in defense position. And really, it's Ben K that gives the other regular monsters that ability. There's a select few Super Heavy Samurai cards outside of the Synchro Monsters that can attack in defense position. Oh boy, I feel like I've been doing that for a while now. Anyway, we, we have a deck now. We have a deck, we have a Gong Strong. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. How about you? Leo Institute, best dual school on the planet. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's wonderful. I'm sure, I'm sure your students are very proud of you. And you're very proud of them. Alright. Uh, maybe I should edit these videos down a little so there's not like long swaths of silence of me trying to edit decks together. Oh wow, I want to kick your butt now. It's Gong's turn! It's Gong's turn! Okay, so. Right off the bat. You got a Synchro Summon. Super heavy samurai, big Waraji. See, this Big Waraji is absolutely like a king in Super Heavy Super Samurai heavy decks. Samurai. <laughs> he is so good, because he is just a free special summon if you've got the deck build right. The super heaviest samurai of them all! Oh yeah. Synchro Summons! How about that? Level 7 Super Heavy Samurai Stealth Ninja! Okay, cool. We, we got something going on here. I could have special summoned you back, but then I wouldn't be able to synchro summon. Yeah, I don't super every time I synchro monster to try to use the summon when a special summon this card from your graveyard. Yeah, because I don't have a. It would be level 8, and I don't have a level 8. I actually don't remember. There must be a level 8 somewhere. You should I don't quit know. making my turn and sit on your strategy. Not all of the Super Heavy Samurai Synchro Monsters are in the- oh, that is- I hate you. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, battle position changing. That is... Probably the Super Heavy Samurais is Dick's uh, worst, worst weakness. 
enemy controller. Well, You are. Go, set, some set you. You should quit making moves and sit on your I strategy. Talk, okay. Go See in if we can. Manipulate the deck in our favor here. From All right. Yeah. Hmm. I can put Big Ben K right at the tear him right away. Do this, that. Um That? That looks good. I end my turn. turn. Gong draw. Yeah, she just he hits the field. And that's it. And now I can treat that as true tribute and summon a big Ben K. He is like absolutely if you build a super heavy samurai deck, you have to have that card in it. I don't think there is any excuse. Here comes Big Ben K. Nice. Right. And now, all of my monsters can attack from defense position. <laughs> because Super Heavy Samurais are crazy and awesome. Yeah, their one biggest weakness is battle position changing. And it's admittedly a pretty huge one, but they're still just they're really fun. And we can just special summon this guy, because why not? Because Yu-Gi-Oh is broken, and it will never not be broken. Let's do ourselves a Synchro Summon. Synchro summons a monster! To the front line, Super Heavy Samurai Swordmaster Musashi! Still love that name. The mouthful Yu-Gi-Oh names are still some of the best. Uh... Sashi can activate its effect when it's synchro summon. Well, I can synchro summon again. The tutor monsters. So Why not? Make the super heaviest samurai of them all. Just got a synchro summon all the time. What do you do? Like, I don't even know what you do. You can activate this. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Alright. You're a, you're a direct attacker. I don't need it, but you are that. Please. That is a look of terror if I've ever seen one. Jeez, purple hair, man. No way! LID is supposed to be the best dueling school! Gong believes are you a teacher? So Gong's car I thought you were supposed to be a teacher, but you're acting like you're... Like... A whiny nerd. <laughs> I want to talk. I'm one of the biggest whiny nerds I know of. I make videos on the internet. Of course I'm a whiny nerd. Alright, and if we get ourselves a magnet in our level up, let's see. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level for a lower super heavy samurai monster to monster from your hand, then change that card to defense this card to defense position. And he prevents your opponent from attacking other monsters, which is really nice. So we're gonna just plop him right in our Super Heavy Samurai deck, I guess. Uh, you're not a Super Heavy Samurai card, but heck are you. I know you. What? What is this? What is this? 
It's a worm. You discard one worm type monster. This card gains a thousand defense until the end of this turn. It's a quick effect too. Once returned during battle calculations, this decap position monster battles in attack position monster. You can apply this card's what? Oh wow, that's that's really confusing. That he's just defense boost and defense use, so I guess that's why Gong unlocks him. And we can get another Soul Bang Cannon. That's... Huh. It's weird he only has the two Super Heavy Samurai cards as, an un as his unlocks. It's strange. It's very strange indeed. Hey, we got a thing. Cool. Uh, how are we doing on time here? I spent a lot of time doing uh, deck editing, so... I don't know if I want to stop right now. We're going to put that magnet in there. Let's do one more duel and celebrate our super heavy samurai-ness a little bit. There you are. We'll put you in here and we'll take out... Let's see. Um... You're not terribly useful, so we're not going to hang on to you quite that much, I think. Oh, boy. I'm just so glad I get to finally do this. Because I know Super Heavy Samurais definitely fall into that category of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are just good for the sake of being good. They just work together so perfectly, and if they get going, they're just awful to have to try and deal with. But they're so neat! They're so neat. They go about it in such a neat way. Pendulum Summon Challenge, what? What? What, what is this? What is going on? Gong will be standing right here to face you, head. I hope we can have a really cool duel. Duel! What? I just... Here goes! Get out there! What is happening? I'm so confused and terrified. I, I saw there was some kind of advance notice on some kind of pendulum summon challenge thing, but I didn't know that was already active. You're telling me I just get to do pendulum summon right now? Um, yeah? I mean, I could special summon... I could special summon these guys anyway, but, you know. Why not? I, ha I have options. Oh, we can. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I got a fun idea. Good thing, hey, to the field. And we can bring out this guy. Yeah. Ah, oh, but. He wouldn't be very good right now. Oh, I wouldn't be able to normal summon anyway. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Don't like me. Go! Attack, Big Bang Cave! So okay. Something something weird's going on. Pension something challenge. I don't know if that's from some kind of event going on, or if this chick did that. Told me to pendulum summon. That makes Gong Trong! Okay. Again, let's just... Let's just do some Pendulum Summoning. Why not? We have, we have the option. That's really confusing that this is happening right now, but... Uh, just set that, I guess. We don't, we don't need it right now. I think the... I think the level 2 uh, tuners are definitely a lot more useful than the level 1 one. Aww, I lost. Shucks. Shucks indeed. Gong believes in his cards, so Gong's cards okay. believe in him. Well, that's another victory. So, aside from the confusion of pendulum monsters appearing on my field for no reason, that went fairly smoothly, I'd say. 
and we get a couple more tasty little level ups after it. So yeah, did did like I drift into a new day and there's another event going on right now? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so apparently. Um uh, Apparently, I have drifted into what's officially a new day in Yu-Gi-Oh! And we have a new Pendulum Summit event going on. I don't know what this is. Secret rewards based around the total number of monsters summoned around the world during the event. The summoning methods will be counted. Pendulum Summons, Xy Summons, Synchro Summons, and Fusion Summons. The number of monsters summoned is counted for all duels. Get 10 gems every day based on the number of Pendulum Summon monsters. If you're using a character from Dual World RP during the event period, you can begin the duel with Time Gazer Magician and Stargazer Magician placed in your Pendulum Zones with the effect of the EX Skill Pendulum Summon Challenge. Alright! Oh yeah! Gotcha! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha! So this is seems to be a cumulative words event where everyone works together and gets rewards because of it. All right, yeah, neat. I'm not gonna be doing that right now because I'm kind of tired, but I'll continue to play around with Gong Strong and maybe continue to readjust some of Yuma's decks off screen here. Um. And hopefully, when I come back in the morning, or whenever, uh, I'll have a few new toys to play with. Until then, uh, this will be your good friend Sparky signing off for now. I will catch you later. Have a good night, or day, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs>